Welcome to the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odom, where we bring you all the exciting action of the Southern University football program. It's brought to you by Coca-Cola, Louisiana Lottery, Cox Communications, Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Louisiana, McLean Financial Group, Communities of Color Network, the Louisiana Campaign for Tobacco-Free Louisiana, and Jerry Lane Enterprises. Hello and welcome to the Bayou Classic edition of the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. We come to you each week from 6224 Plank Road, the end zone, daiquiris and bar. Come in, have some libations, have some food, and talk some Jaguar football. Coach O, we have our second and traditional open week of the year. Um, do you like having that open week before the Grambling game to give you more time to prepare for that game? Well, you know, I think it benefits us, you know, give you a chance to really heal some wounds and really get a chance to prepare your football team for for a great day and a great game against the Grambling State. So, yes, I love having a bye before, that, uh, before the Grambling game. I'm going to turn the corner, Coach, talk a little bit of recruiting. We're going to talk Grambling later in the game. Of course, recruiting is in full swing. The open day gave you and your staff some time to see some uh, quality high school playoff action. Did you see some players that weren't on the uh, Jaguars recruiting radar? Well, yes, you know, a couple guys out there that we um, looked at and looked forward to recruiting. You know, a couple guys made some standout plays, and it was just great to be on the road. And, you know, every time you go recruiting, it's a chance for you to, to market your program. And, you know, when you got coaches going into different schools and representing Southern University wearing the the logo on their, on their shirts is really visible and does a great job of promoting our institution. Coach, did you and your staff get any commitments during this playoff weekend? Uh, no, but we did get a lot of guys interested in us and coming, coming to visit us. I ought to have a few, you know, this week to come visit the game. And, you know, I think it's a great game and, and we look forward to seeing those recruits out there. Coach, is there a formula for recruiting for a SWAC school, get a couple of true freshmen, get some transfers to fill specific needs and maybe get a player who has fallen off somewhere, maybe a kid who's been in trouble somewhere and needed a, a fresh start? Well, you know, I think you got to have your philosophy as a coach and, you know, that's really what it comes down to. I was this character base, you know. I'm, I'm really big on having guys that are disciplined and it's going to buy into our philosophy, whether they're a freshman or a transfer, whoever it may be. But they, they got to understand when if they get an opportunity to come on the bluffs of the Mississippi River and attend Southern University, that that comes with high character. You know, I think our guys understand that discipline and accountability is what our program is really about. And when guys don't handle themselves that way, is we discipline them. And, but we let them know that before they come as recruits that if you want to go somewhere that, that we're going to be able to help mold you into becoming a better young man, then Southern University uh, football program is a place that you would like to be a part of. Coach, last question about recruiting in this segment. Last year, a couple of your recruits didn't quite make the roster this year because of not being able to get in school or something. And so you guys, you guys got some quality players who are going to be coming onto the team uh, this spring. Uh, but do you feel like you'll have a better recruiting class because of those guys? Or do you feel like last year was a, a banner year for you? Well, I really think that you know, with, with some of the guys that we have that are sitting out, it's really going to give us an opportunity to put a, a, a better football team going forward. It sort of hurts you from a financial standpoint because if you got a senior that you thought calculated as graduating, but yet he's going to have opportunity to come back, it, it takes now takes that position off the board from a financial standpoint. But the good thing about it is it'll help you with your depth, it'll allow you to get experienced guys back, and that's really what you look forward to uh, going into next year. Well, there you have it. Coach and I are doing a little SU recruiting talk. When we come back, we'll talk about Grambling State University. Stay with us on the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. This could be your year with a Saint scratch-off from the lottery. Win up to $100,000. 
Enter the second chance drawing for a chance to win the Saints behind the scenes fan experience. Make this your year with the Saints scratch off from the lottery. Win up to $100,000. has doubled the speed of our internet, so we will stream with abandon. We will shop online for colorful duct tape while streaming True Blood on HBO Go and watching random tutorials. Watch the kale, please. We will stream the game. No, we will stream the games. We will watch a bunch of videos about peregrine falcons because they are the fastest animals alive. We are Cox customers. And we are now twice as fast. We are doubling internet speeds. Learn more today at cox.com internet. You don't have to understand the physics of flying to fly easy. Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport. Champions know adversity. It's coded in their DNA. But when that defining moment arises, champions embrace adversity, then seek to conquer it. We are Jaguars. Scholars. Warriors. Family. Champions. And this, this is Southern. Welcome back to the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. As we usually do after uh, open date, we have a highlight package that we put together for the last couple of games since our last highlight package. And we're going to jump right into that and look at some of the best plays of 2014 so far. Coach, this is a great catch, great concentration by Justin Morgan to pull that in. Well, exactly. He's one of those guys that stepped up early for us and made some plays. And you can see right there just a tremendous talent. You see Deontay Shorts taking one in. Coach, that young man knows how to use his feet. Love to see him be able to be more accurate with the football. Well, I think it's coming, you know. I think as he's gained confidence in what he's doing, he's definitely going to be able to deliver football going down the stretch. There you go. A nice return, Coach. Coach, you've gotten a really good year out of your special teams, guys. It's really been a productive year and a, a little bit of a surprise, actually. Well, I think when you got the kind of returners that we have and got the kind of commitment that we make to special teams, and, you know, that's really how you win big ball games is that you got to dominate the special teams and, you know, control the uh, team offense and defensively. But um, you're definitely right. I'm proud of the way those guys are taking the attitude to the field on special teams. You saw Tillery take one in. You saw Arthur Miley get one of his many sacks of the season. Then you see senior Jaleel Richardson taking one back. Coach, it's good to have Richardson back. This is his last year. Well, exactly. You know, one of those senior leaders that's been in this program and watched it grow and is making his contribution in the return game. So your defense is, Coach, you had an active linebacking core, even with the loss of guys like D-Train Lindsay and uh, Jordan and a couple other guys, you still were really, really uh, good at the linebacking position. Well, they've done a, a great job considering we didn't have a lot of guys coming back once we had lost some guys to eligibility and you know, we had guys that haven't played a whole lot, and they've gotten better every week, and that's really testament to the players and the assistant coaches and just developing guys over the course of a season. See Mr. Excitement catch a touchdown right there, Willie Quinn. I look forward to seeing that young man play on Sunday's coach, but you got him back for another year, huh? Yeah. Well, yes, we got a lot of those guys back. I think that junior class is probably the deepest class on the roster, you know, so there'll be a lot of seniors coming back on this football team next year, but Got a lot of work to do this year, but I'm, I'm, you're right. I'm excited about seeing Willie Quinn back in Southern Uniform next year. I'm excited about seeing Lenard Tillery back yeah. as well, Coach. Excellent effort right there, hurdling a player. He really laid it on the line for the Jaguar squad this year. 
well, definitely been a tremendous uh, blessing to us. He's just done an outstanding job on the field running the football and just running with an attitude. And I think that's how you have to play this game. You got to play it with a will and a determination and an attitude, and he one, does that. One of my favorite players, Deontay McDuffie, sticking a player. Coach, Austin Howard, your freshman quarterback, played, played with a maturity this year that really made the Jaguars a winning team. You got to be pleased with his progress. Well, exactly. Just don't make mistakes. You got a lot of talent around you. You just, you know, make your Manage good throws. Game, exactly. Huh? He's done a great job of it. It's easy when you can just hand the ball off to number 21 and run behind that offensive line. But he's right. He's done a great job for us. One of the highlights of the year, uh, Reggie getting this touchdown. Coach, that's an offensive lineman's dream, huh? Well, exactly. You know, they never get a chance to hear their name call itself for penalties. But that's an opportunity right there. And I'm quite sure the story of It'll turn into probably 40 or 50 yards down the road, how he made a great return. <laughs> Excellent fake right there by Austin Howard. The defense comes back in, very stout, hard hitting. Coach, another star for your team, Danny Johnson. Loved it. I want, I'm, I'm interested in seeing his maturity, see if he gets better next year. Well, I think if you look at his work ethic and you know how he applies himself to the game and just a great person, has great character and just a phenomenal talent. Coach, you know, sometimes through the course of the middle of the season, uh, uh, Beard, other tight ends, uh, uh, they came up really big, making key catches at critical parts of the game to keep the, keep the sticks moving. Well, I think you see why our offensive coaches were so excited about, you know, coaching in this offense with all the talent that we have, you know, from running back to wide receivers to tight ends to quarterback. These guys are really explosive. And, and they can make it happen at any point in time in the game. Here we got some highlights from the Mississippi Valley game. Coach, this was an interesting game. We were down two touchdowns at the very beginning and then came back and shut them out the rest of the way. What did you tell your guys for them to put that type of effort in after being down two touchdowns early? Well, I just think you got to stay positive and just stay the course, man. You got to understand that, you know, that's really what it's all about. You. You look across the sideline and you can see frustration on other teams. You can see coaches getting out of character. And, you know, I just look at that as an opportunity for us to really close in and, and close the team out. You got a touchdown by the senior, uh, Brian McCain. He had two touchdowns and a sack in that game. That had to be a highlight of his football career. Well, exactly. You know, just great to see him. He made the transition to go to linebacker has really done an outstanding job for us as our captain. Mr. Tillery doing his thing. What I love about Tillery coaches, he's the kind of back that he can be shifty, but when necessary, he'll lower his shoulder and try to go over you. Well, exactly. He's just, he possesses all those tangibles that it takes to be a really good running back, and he's definitely done that. Look at that run right there at signing by Jamarcus Jarvis. That was a great hit right there. Stopping the progress. And there he is again, short, using his feet. Coach, great highlights from the second half of this season. When we come back, we're going to talk about our Cox Players of the Week and talk, of course, Grambling State Tigers. Stay with us on the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. <laughs> Did you know smoking and tobacco use damages nearly every organ in your body? Don't you think you deserve more than heart disease, lung disease, cancer? Stay away from the toxic chemicals of tobacco and smoking. Tobacco smoke hurts anyone who breathes it, including family and friends. Communities of Color Network supports a tobacco-free Louisiana. To gain financial success, the first step is getting in the game with planning your retirement. With so much uncertainty in the financial world, it's crucial to have someone on your team that understands your financial goals and can navigate you to obtaining your dream to financial freedom. McLean Financial Group advises in many areas. We pride ourselves on strategic financial planning and serving our clients a great combination to obtain financial freedom. Get in the game and let McLean Financial Group design your customized financial playbook and quarterback you to financial independence. You know, there is such a thing as too many choices. Like, say with shampoo, for example. I mean, I need clean hair, but I don't need 30 yards of choices. Ready to go? I look for something I can trust. Coming. With health insurance, 
same thing. I go for Blue Cross. <laughs> you could wade through that doc website, or you can do what I did and keep it simple. For self-service or free help from a Blue Cross agent, go to bcbsla.com. I'm driving all day long, so I need a car that I can rely on and a dealership I can trust. And that's Jerry Lane. It's always been Jerry. Their customer service is outstanding. Get the lane, get the lane, get the lane. Jerry Lane keeps me and my family rolling. Always leads you. Welcome back to the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Coach, of course, we didn't have a game this past weekend, but we always have the Cox Players of the Week because players lead by example and they lead by deeds and the work that they do. Who were our Cox Players of the Week in this off week? Well, defensively, it was uh, Kevin King, who's done an outstanding job of just really being a positive motivator throughout this bye week about finishing the task that's in front of us. Offensively, it's a guy that, you know, Zach Brown, who's just a tremendous student athlete, done a great job on and off the field, you know, received a scholarship award during this bye week. So in special teams, it goes to a young man that I really think is really grown in this program. And it goes to um, Jamar Mitchell. I watched him today at practice and just an outstanding attitude and just a remarkable guy to see him play special teams the way he's playing them. Thank you, and those were our Cox Players of the Week. Coach Grambling, they had the biggest turnaround season, of course, in a long time, coming off of 1-11-2013 campaign. They were 7-4 for this season, 8-1 uh, in the swag just like us. Coach, you got to give your hats off to Coach Fob for stabilizing that program and making Grambling be Grambling again. Well, yeah, you know, I think when they made the decision, you know, I think any time you make a decision to hire a coach, you know, you go have a split jury, you know, the jury is still out and he went out and proved himself that he's worthy of being a college football coach at Grambling University. And he's done a great job at getting that football team prepared to play week in and week out. And, and you're right, man, it's tough going into the situation that he encountered. But when you put the right administration around him and everybody rallies around and work towards one common goal, you can get turnaround real quick and they've shown they could do that at Grambling. Coach, what do the G-men like to do on offense and defense? Well, offensively, they spread you out. Uh, Jonathan Williams is a, is a talent back there, one of the better athletes that I've ever seen. And, you know, it's just great to, to, to watch guys like that play the game. He has a very good receiving core, very great, uh, very good offensive line, probably the best offensive line we've seen. Uh, and then you have uh, defensive players that really get out there, you that 3-3-5 three, three, that they run. They try to lock receivers down and really get out there. You make a lot of put They have a lot of plays where they where they tackle you for a loss. And you know it's all been an exciting game. It's gonna be whichever team can play well and and look forward to take capitalizing on other teams' mistakes. Coach, I always say for the swag to be healthy, they need to have a healthy Grambling, Jackson State, and Southern University. Do you agree with that assessment? Well, you know, I just think when you look at it is everybody's going through their phase. You know, we've been through it, Grambling's been through it, uh, Jackson is, is going through it now. And, but it gives other opportunities for some teams to step up, you know, give that door is, is open for uh, Alcorn to step up and have a great year. And, you know, a couple of years ago it was UAPB to have a great year. But you're right, man, those are the three teams in this conference that everybody talks about. And, that's why you got to buckle up that chance strap because you're like everybody's Super Bowl. Everybody look forward to beating those three teams. Coach, does it also give you an edge in recruiting whoever wins this game? Well, I, you know, I don't really think so. Uh, I think guys are going to go to the schools for whatever reason. But at the end of the day, I think the team that wins this game has got a chance to be a leg up in recruiting because you get a chance to move on and play for something bigger. And really, that's what it's all about. And we're excited about the opportunity to do that. There you have it. When we come back, we'll talk some more Grambling State University and the Bayou Classic on the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Five. 
five times, ten times, twenty times, fifty times the cash. Get yours today from the Louisiana Lottery. Multiply your play. has doubled the speed of our internet, so we will stream with abandon. We will shop online for colorful duct tape while streaming True Blood on HBO Go and watching random tutorials. Watch the kale, please. We will stream the game. No, we will stream the games. We will watch a bunch of videos about peregrine falcons because they are the fastest animals alive. We are Cox customers. And we are now twice as fast. We are doubling internet speeds. Learn more today at cox.com internet. You don't have to understand the physics of flying to fly easy. Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport. Welcome back to the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Coach, the 41st annual Bayou Classic this Saturday in the Superdome. Of course, this one will uh, decide the tie. Right now it's 2020. 20 for the Jaguars, 20 for the Tigers, exactly. and uh, that's a good thing. Coach, the G-Men are coming off a loss to Alabama State. Was that some good video to watch for the team? Well, you know, I think we went back and watched, you know, as much video as possible and really just looking to see what, what we could do and what kind of plan we could uh, create. But, you know, you don't want to go into the bye week losing football games and uh, coming off of loss, but I'm quite sure they went back, looked at some things that they could do better and work on that and, and look forward to the challenge that's in front of us. Coach, folks are talking about this is the most meaningful Bayou Classic in about 10, 11 years. Of course, the most meaningful thing to me is the fact whoever wins goes to the SWAT championship and gets to play Alcorn. Well, exactly, and that's, that's what it's all about. And, you know, that's what, that's what we have. That's the, the biggest uh, goal we have in front of us that we could achieve. And I think every team starts the season wanting to have a chance to be in the hunt. And we're in that hunt, and we look forward to that opportunity come this weekend. Coach, not to look ahead, but the Braves gave us a thorough whipping earlier in the season, though we were down some players. But they lost to Jay State this weekend. Did you or anybody from your staff go and see that game? Uh, no. We just... We took time off. I was actually up here on campus watching Pee Wee football and watching our volleyball team uh, compete in the SWAC tournament. And uh, Coach Jacobs has done a great job with those ladies. And they made it all the way to the championship game and came up a little bit sh short. So spent some time with my daughters and, you know, relaxed a little bit and, and watched somebody else play on TV. Well, there you have it. When we come back, we'll close out this week's edition of the Jaguar football show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Did you know smoking and tobacco use damages nearly every organ in your body? Don't you think you deserve more than heart disease, lung disease, cancer? Stay away from the toxic chemicals of tobacco and smoking. Tobacco smoke hurts anyone who breathes it, including family and friends. Communities of Color Network supports a tobacco-free Louisiana. 
To gain financial success, the first step is getting in the game with planning your retirement. With so much uncertainty in the financial world, it's crucial to have someone on your team that understands your financial goals and can navigate you to obtaining your dream to financial freedom. McLean Financial Group advises in many areas. We pride ourselves on strategic financial planning and serving our clients, a great combination to obtain financial freedom. Get in the game and let McLean Financial Group design your customized financial playbook and quarterback you to financial independence. It's time to get covered, Louisiana. And Blue Cross has a plan in every parish, every zip code. No matter where you are, get covered through and through. We got a blue for you. We're covered. Blue Cross agent or go to bcbsla.com and get covered too. You can count on Jerry Lane. At Jerry Lane, they rolled the red carpet out for me. It's always been Jerry. Jerry Lane. You know what? It's tradition, it's family, and that's what keeps us coming back to Jerry Lane. Get the lane, get the lane. Welcome back to the Jaguar football show. As we close out this week's edition of the show, of course, we want to get everybody uh, ramped up to get out and vote. Uh, the election is December 6th, and of course, the Jaguars actually play on uh, this Saturday, which is an early voting day. And uh, you can actually early vote uh, tomorrow, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and then, of course, Saturday. And we want you to vote because if you're going to be in New Orleans on Saturday and then we win and go to Houston, you, you might be in Houston and we need you to go vote. That's important. Exercise your franchise and go vote. Coach, another thing we want to try to encourage the faithful in the Jaguar Nation to do is buy some tickets. The Jaguar Nation needs to be in the Superdome to support the Bayou Classic. Coach, talk about how important it is to have a home crowd for the players. Well, exactly. I think it's an electrifying uh, venue to play in that Superdome can get really loud, and we like for it to be loud. We like for it to have more Jaguars in there than Tigers, and the only way we're going to be able to accomplish that is to buy tickets, and we look forward to you coming out and hoping rooting this team on to, to the championship. So we need your support. We need your voice in the stands in the Superdome. There you have it. Coach Odom says buy some tickets, come out, and support the Jaguars in the, in the Mercedes-Benz Superdome. Coach, of course, we want to always wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. Uh, get out and do something nice for people. If you have it good in life, go out and buy a bag of groceries for your neighbor or for the food bank or for someone less fortunate. Always give back uh, if you can and uh, try to make this world a little bit better place. So uh, as we close this week's show, Coach, as we always do, Go Jags! Jags.